Well, I wanted to go over something real quick. Uh, this is hopefully should be a simple mod with the uh, 7300 here. Um, I'm going to key up. I'm just going into a dummy load here. Um, it's not as pronounced. Uh, oh, yeah, I have the power down. Um, but if I say if we have the power all the way up, the um, there's a constant noise from the fan that ramps up quickly. It's hard to... Uh, to hear it uh, but let me show you what I'm talking about so on the back here we have um, of course the power cord always gets tangled up but yeah we have a fan here and um, now there is some people that sell attachment fans and it goes in through the um, the tuner jack here basically it'll have the voltage um, out the back here but yeah this is kind of like a universal fan it's not one that replaces that um, but uh, you'll know, see here. You can hear it somewhat down there. That kind of, kind of is it. I got the wind uh, muffle on here, so on the microphones. But yeah, this ramps up and um, you know lets you know on the front here continually um, where we uh, where we end up with as far as temperature here. But it's just one of the things I can hear when uh, using the radio that this will actually have um, a decent amount of noise coming off the back of that so they say there is an easy remedy for that um, this is the uh, actual assembly for the, for the uh, fan kit so you can actually use the exact one uh, Come nice, nice leads come off of that and uh, the fan, this is an updated version, uh, to, but it's the um, NFA 8 fan um, and from uh, Nautica down here, or Noctua, I believe that is. This power adapter, this one actually is a speed, um, it's a low noise adapter, it reduces the speed by adding a resistor. And this. Um, gets plugged in we're actually not going to use the plugs but when uh, looking at this this gives me the determination that the black is going to be common it usually is and uh, the resistor here is our positive lead for our fan that would make sense I did verify that already off camera basically just plug it in real quick um, to power supply this is a 12 volt so it uh, is a direct plug in Just removing this fan guard, four screws of this as well. Be reinstalling that. Don't not install that. I've had that many times burn me in the uh, thinking I'm not gonna zap something. Put the grill on. <laughs> anyway, we're inside it. Here we are. So this is pretty basic. This. Uh, fan will come out once we uh, disassemble this uh, clip here so real real simple and that's pretty much it so yeah like we did we simulated that uh, nodule and this fan's still good there's nothing wrong with this it'll uh, this one here I can definitely reuse I can put on an amp um, like I said sorry I could use these plungers get this put in uh, put it on amp for cooling uh, the one thing I just notched it out I could have done a better job sure um, and uh, didn't have all the tools needed but I just used two pieces of side cutters and then just peeled back it's enough to be able to notch it in um, this isn't a, a, a totally strict cut but even still this does lay flat um, and it's already protected at the uh, heat shrink on this side. I already have, I'm going to put a heat shrink on this just to keep it nice like this side because it's a uh, frail underneath here, uh, frayed back rather. And this, uh, I went ahead and did the negative side. I already heat shrunk this. I left this open um, just in case if I want to put that resistor in, um, I can do that. But it's still going to be under um, 
you know protection there so I'm going to give it a good test run it's always good to do that and then if I decide I will go ahead and heat shrink that down and I'll heat shrink this and it will be kind of just like the stock um, version of this uh, so you don't want to add any kind of drag if there's no need for it uh, and I just tucked the other wires um, underneath uh, this here as well just peeled them back I'm not going to use them at all I think that is RPM sensing if I'm not mistaken that's what they usually are on these um, didn't come with a pin out because it's basically a computer fan but this uh, this will easily fit in here now I'm going to leave these rubber grommets on here uh, well protectors little bumpers really um, take them off but I figure why not it'll actually add uh, just that little bit of extra um, to the uh, to the radio here so um, we'll go ahead and just leave them on it won't have any rattle and uh, we have to make sure we actually put it in the right way here it's gonna go just through the same hot uh, nodule right there it's actually a little divot on the back side of this uh, radio too. And there we go. The hardest part I think is just routing it into where it needs to go. Well I figured why not show you the oh an interesting trick. I usually skip over the fun stuff some people ask about. Um, so you, how do you take these apart without just cutting these out? Um, real simply everybody has this tool already is uh, sim pin so this is the uh, pin for your uh, phone you get uh, the sim card be able to pop out the side this one's from an iPhone I think they're all pretty much similar um, but yeah this will work and the reason this will work is it has a nice flat tip on it and it's just thin enough um, in right ways to be able to get it and I like it because of this handle so the easiest way to get at it, and you'll see when you look at the tips of these wires, one way or the other, there is wires with the stick sticking out right here. You see the uh, plastic is removed right here, and there's little tabs. So it's pretty simple um, to do, is that's the side we're going to work with, because that's pretty much those little... Uh, tablets will are the catch up, catching um, catch and release so it's, it goes in and then it locks based on that so I'll show you what I'm talking about here real quick so you take it in and you see it actually has a little bit of a gap right there um, so you can get in between um, right there and all you do is you go all the way down and now we have basically opened up where that little piece of plastic indented now is uh, is open and this is a pretty archaic design and it works it just works so these are all how these come out so what what that basically is it's like the old uh, uh, trap scenario where uh, an animal can go in but can't come out so right here is the, is, is the little catch piece um, that goes into where this plastic um, so that's the piece that you need to remove or move out of the way for this to be able to pull out. But yeah, these are reusable. Nothing wrong with this. Goes right back in. Locks. And now that's secure. So I'm going to go ahead and just take both of these out real quick. Get this uh, reversed and plug in to test. So some cool. Use these SIM pins. They work great. Take out um, some of these connectors, especially these smaller versions. They can get right in there and remove some stuff. Um, they work great on, on the majority of these um, on the boards, too. So if you see something that's uh, on the board like this, uh, this side right here, this you can pull this connector out. And if you had to readjust them or do something with repairs, you don't have to snip these wires. You can actually just get at those uh, types of connectors so it's always good um, some modifications CB radios they actually have the pin outs like that so you can pull them out and leave a little bit of leeway do what you need to and if you ever wanted to put it back you could solder and, and do a uh, heat shrink and, and be good with it so I'm gonna go ahead and reverse these I'll be back okay polarity uh, on those uh, wires have been reversed 
Now we're just testing this out. I got it powered up just to 100% power going into a dummy load. Let's see if we can see this fan spin um, and see if we can hear it or hear if we can see it. See if we can hear it. I can't hear it at all. But I can uh, see it spinning here. Let me turn the volume down. Yeah, so this fan is great. Just a little modification. So when you get it, um, uh, you got to just put a little notch in there and uh, wire it up so the right polarity with that uh, switch uh, connection here. That's a little switch, uh, switch those two wires around, and uh, you will be golden. Verifying we're about full power. Absolutely nothing for fan noise. So, absolutely definite improvement.